Hi, it's Jeff Harrison here. A user in the PhotoPaint forums was asking how to convert photos that are individual into one long strip, such as this. And there's a variety of ways to do it. You could always do it manually, but that sounds pretty tedious. I'm going to presume that these photos are individual in, let's say, a Windows folder, and you want to be able to just basically export them or, or print them to a single strip. So that's the goal. I'm going to close this file down. And over here, I'm going to grab some uh, individual photos that I already know are the same pixel dimensions per photo, like this, right? So I think I've got, I don't know, 20 photos there, or something like that. So one of the interesting things about PhotoPaint, and you can do something similar in CorelDRAW too, by the way, is um, you can um, print these to a single document using the imposition feature in PhotoPaint. Here's what I mean. If you prefer to press control P to get to the print dialog. I've already got some things set up here, but what I want to draw your attention to is under the general tab we have a documents uh, radio button. That's what that's called. And down here you can see there's a check box beside those individual photos. So you can choose specific ones or choose them all like I have there. And under color make sure you set it to print composite if you want to keep them in color, which is most likely the case under the, um, if we go back to the general tab, we want to choose device independent postscript file. That comes with every Corel suite installation by default. You could, if you had some of their program in here that allows you to uh, send it to create an individual image file, you could use that. In fact, PDF Creator, I believe, lets you do that as well. But I'm going to choose device independent postscript file because I know that that comes with the suite by default. Just under preferences, this is where you can choose some of your parameters there. Um, I think I'm going to just go, I'm going to go with uh, legal in this case, just for variety, just to show you how that looks. I'm going to hit apply down here. And then if we go to the print preview tab, you can see how it's already lined up. Now the reason it's already lined up is I've gone into this imposition um, uh, icon over here. And you can see that if I was to lower that down, we're getting photos there, but now it's going over to more than one page, like that. Now for some reason this user wants them all in one single strip, um, so I'm going to go back to this tab. I, th I can't remember how many photos I had picked there. We're now at one of one, I can see at the bottom. So it is squeezing them all in there. Now what we're going to be doing later though is we don't seem to be wanting to print this. Oops, I'm going to go down here like this. And so you can see that they're all fitting on that legal size page. What we want to do here is just save this to disk as a, as a file on your desktop, and then we're going to import that back into PhotoPaint. So here's how that works. I'm going to go ahead and print that. So we're not printing it to paper, we're just printing it to a file. And I'm going to just call it Pix. Hit Save. I'm going to hit this icon to close out the print dialog. And then to quickly close all of these files, you can go to Window, um, and then Close All right there. That gets rid of all those open files. I'm just going to drag and drop from my desktop into PhotoPaint. This is that photo uh, PostScript file, rather. And it's going to ask, at what resolution do I want to render that file inside PhotoPaint? I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So there we go. So what we've got here, you might not be able to see on the screen capture, but we do have a whole legal size page behind the scenes there. If we wanted to just get the strip, one fast way is to press the uh, the wand tool, which is the W key. I'm going to click on a blank white area. So it's selected all around the uh, photos there. I'm going to invert that mask, which is Control shift i now it's selected just the photos, and now I can crop to that easily by going to Image, uh, Crop to Image Mask. I've got some shortcut keys set up for this stuff normally, uh, so it's a little bit quicker for me to do that stuff. But then Control R takes, gets rid of the mask. If you hit Control 1, we can zoom in and see what we've got there. So now you can do whatever you need to do with this specific strip of photos that we had made from individual files. Hope that helps. Good luck.